Glaze WM is a tiling window manager. Basically, it is a lightweight program that allows you to organize the open apps. If you're a person who uses several apps at the same time, like YouTube, Obsidian, VS Code, you know it's a mess to find the perfect split to have all apps visible, or just to find a piece of information buried behind a couple apps. The purpose of GlazeWM is to make that easy for you. You just have to learn a couple keyboard shortcuts and you'll have all of that nonsense organized. In order to install it, you can go to the official GitHub page, search for releases and use the installer. But I prefer to use WinUtil. It creates Titus tool, which is just a little script that allows you to install a bunch of useful apps easily. We copy this link, we run PowerShell as administrator, we paste it and there we have it. From here we can select the apps that we want to install and then we click install slash upgrade applications. This time we'll search for GlazeWM and we install it. The first thing you'll notice when you run GlazeWM is the top bar and the blue border around the active window. Basically, this border tells you which app you're currently on. The moment we open a new app, like a command line in this example, you'll notice the big gap between apps. To change it, let's head to the config file. As we can see here, the gap between adjacent windows is set to 20 pixels. Let's change it to 5 and see how it looks. You can change other things in this config file, such as the active window color or the default keyboard shortcuts. Just remember to save the file and reload the config when you are done. The whole point of GlazeWM is to use keyboard shortcuts instead of your mouse, so we'll need to learn those. Luckily, the developers of the tool have a cheat sheet on their website. I highly recommend printing it. I won't bore you with every shortcut GlazeWM has, because that's something you'll have to learn by doing. But just know that you'll be able to write something here, then something there, and then something else over there without leaving the keyboard. And if you have your perfect split, but you really need to open another app, use the workspaces to further improve your workflow. You could be working in your favorite split, then need to write something. But then you need to search something in the browser. With BladeWM, you have up to nine workspaces, so have fun with that. The top bar is not really a part of GlazeWM. As a matter of fact, it's a separate software called ZBar. You can disable it if you want, although I recommend using it because it's very difficult to know in which workspace you are after a while. By default, ZBar does its job, but everything from the color to the functionality can be modified, although you need to know how to code for that. Luckily, the ZBar community has done a fantastic job creating different ready-to-use customizations. You can get them from the ZBar settings. Go to Marketplace, click on the install icon. You need to disable the vanilla theme if you want to use a different one. If not, both themes will overlap and it'll look disgusting. And there you have it. So far we've got a system that allows us to switch between apps with just the keyboard. Something that could make this better is a way to open apps as easily. For that, I use Flow Launcher, the Windows counterpart for Max Spotlight. There are other options, but for me this is the best one due to how customizable it is. So much so that if you know Python, you can modify existing plugins or create new ones, which is exactly what I did with a custom timer. Again, to install it, we go to WinUtil, we search for Flow Launcher and download it. After that, we go through these installation steps. Now, if we try to use it with the default keyboard shortcut, Alt Space, chances are it won't work because we're using one of GlazeWM's shortcut. To change this, let's go to Flow Launcher Settings and change it to something else like Control Shift Space. And now magic happens. 
we can open apps like a browser we can search in YouTube directly or just do a Google search with Flow Launcher you can do many things like simple math running a command or shutting down your computer the key thing here is that you're not getting your hands off the keyboard of course I haven't mentioned every detail of Glazeable Home and Flow Launcher so I encourage you to explore on your own these tools are quite powerful and they've definitely changed the way I use my computer it's true that Glazeable Home is not for everyone and not for every situation but you lose nothing trying it out for a couple weeks